Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the first King of the Hill map of the series. Uh, it's going to be Product. It was called Viaduct before, but uh, yeah, in, at least in European TF2 we're going to play Product, so uh, let's talk about the map. Um, I'm going to jump into the game for this, so you can see. Okay, here we go. Um, as you can notice, you only have one game objective, and it's basically one point you have to cap and hold for five minutes so you win the round if you hold it for five minutes and at least an etf 2 l and then you probably pay a, a play a best of three overall and um yeah so in comparison to the five cp maps you only have one game objective and that's really important so you basically have to play around it all the time okay um yeah, I think it's probably this is it's gonna be uh, quite hard for me to tell you how to play this map. Um, it got implemented in European TF2 probably like two years ago or something. So uh, I played like three seasons on it, and um, you don't see any mixes on this map. So yeah, I think I'm quite new to this map as well. But as always, we're gonna talk about some holds, some pushes, and uh, some tricks and uh, shenanigans you can do on this map so yeah I'm gonna just jump into the overview and we're gonna talk about the first hold you can do on this map okay just have to control it real quick okay now I can show you this is uh, the aggressive hold of King of the Hill product and um, you basically do this when you cap the point. So let's say you win the mid fight, you kill the entire enemy team, uh, and you want to hold it aggressively. This is a really, really good hold because you make it really hard for the enemy uh, just to come in onto the into the side. You know, he, they are just in spawn. You don't see the spawn area on this picture. It's over here, and they have three entrances they can use to come. Uh, uh, to the point they have this right entrance this in the middle and the left one and all you do in the offensive fold aggressive fold is just holding these entrances really closely so you have your pocket and your medic on the right side the pocket basically watches this entrance all the time uh, it's really easy to hold it as soldier because you can just use the small entrance to spam rockets really effectively and if you know that the enemy comes on this side as well you can your po uh, Roma can just help you here um, if not, your Roma and your scouts, uh, your pocket scout, just watch the middle entrance. You don't want to stand too closely because you're on lower ground and this entrance is a little bit bigger, at least uh, at this part. Uh, I'm going to show you after this on the map how the entrances uh, look like. But uh, yeah, you just spot people there and then you spam them. And uh, if you know that there's a lot coming there, you can even rotate the pocket there. But uh, for now, just hold it with your pocket scout and your Roma. And then on your flank you have your demo man and your scout. Uh, the demo man can sit on the cliff uh, putting up a sticky trap on the left entrance and the scout can just spot for him. He can look into the entrance, I'm going to show you after this as well, and uh, tell your demo man when he has to spam pipes for example. But you have to uh, be really careful on the left side because you don't have yields and if the enemy pushes through the side and they uber through, they might just kill you uh, two classes here. So you always want to be full HP and you always want to uh, have a way to get out or at least connect with your team. So yeah. It's always important that you rotate to that entrance where the medic comes from because you're probably going to see the uber there and uh, you want to deny that as hard as possible. And uh, sometimes, you know, they just come in and they can't, uh, the left side can't hold it anymore, then you just back off entirely. You're, like your right side backs off and you connect with your team on the middle. Uh, don't force it too hard. If you, if they come through, that's basically a really bad thing for you. Uh, yeah, just back off if, uh, if they do. Sometimes you even see the enemy going for pyro or something just to get through the entrances uh, and they go from there. So play defensively uh, on the left side and even on the middle side. Okay, I'm gonna show you in, t in the game. So, let's see. This is um, the right entrance. Let's have a look from the spawn area. So, this is your spawn area. And uh, as you see, you have your three entrances. entrances right side, middle side, left side. Um, yeah. Let me walk through the left side. Okay, 
so this entrance is oh never mind wrong entrance uh, this entrance is like really close corner so um, you have your pocket and your Roma sitting here and you just spam this and it should be impossible to run through this without popping the uber you should kill everyone just running into this because you can spot Four, them here three, two, yeah one. let's wait for this timer Control point enabled. Get going. Okay, and yeah, you just uh, spam this entrance with your soldiers. It's probably like the easiest thing in this hold. So your pocket uh, shouldn't have uh, too much of a hard time. Then you have your middle entrance, and as I said, this area is quite big, but this one is really small. So you can either have your scout up here. Oops, what am I doing? You can uh, have your scout up here, just spotting basically for the soldier the soldier can sit here or he can even sit up here uh, he can sit up here it uh, all comes down to preference i guess but um yeah make use of higher ground as always probably this is the best spot and if you need heals you might go to your medic there and uh, yeah you just spam that entrance as soon as they get out through this uh, little entrance you spam the big one and yeah make it really hard for the enemy to run through and then you have your right side uh, on the right side you have your demo man uphill as i told you and he's just putting up a sticky trap there or on top or on right side and the scout is just sitting here and what this does is that you can see basically the entire way to spawn so sometimes you even see the medic going here on the right side and this scout sitting on this uh little slope can spot the medic running through or you can just stay if you are not sure if they're pushing uh, from there maybe they're just faking you but uh, I doubt it because people won't check the sideline so just be careful that you don't die but yeah as I said, it's really hard to run through this because first of all, you have to take these stairs at least, uh, as at least as a soldier or demo man or medic, um, and you can just use this to spam pipes into that entrance, and yeah, the enemy basically have has to uber to uh, run through this entrance. So yeah, that's like a super effective hold. I think uh, it got really popular on. Uh, land because the American team used to do it and uh, European teams weren't used to it. They basically every uh, they played defensively all the time. Like uh, this is like the new aggressive hold. They would call it. Uh, they would call another hold uh, aggressive hold. But uh, yeah, just keep in mind this is the real aggressive hold. So if you tell your team we're gonna do a, uh, an aggressive hold, you go actually really really close. Um, yeah, it's actually probably the best hold on this map because it's it it takes so much time from the clock You know you kept the middle and then you go forward and then the enemy team uh, First has to come in and then they have to go onto the point so you can play around the timer of the map You can just you know make it hard and if you take a lot of damage or something You just back off back off back off because at some point the enemy has to go on the point and you can use that fact like uh, really well if there's like if there's like 10 seconds left on the map you know they have to commit on the point and you can just you position yourself around it or something like that so uh, always uh, keep the timer in your mind okay all right um yeah i'm not going to talk about the defensive fold yet because one thing that's probably like the most important thing on this map is that the defensive team, the team that caps the point, respawns a lot slower than the team that has to cap, cap the point. So if you are on the defensive team, you cap the point and it's 6 versus 6, you trade a kill, um, that means the, uh, the team that is pushing uh, is spawning or the, the class that was dying uh, is gonna spawn really fast and the defensive class uh, is, put, uh, is spawning really slow so always try to trade kills if you are pushing because you just spawn for uh, spawn spawn <laughs> faster oh my god you spawn faster and you just use that to uh, create an advantage in numbers and uh, yeah on the defensive side you never want to trade 
numbers because you just spawn so slowly and it's uh, gonna be really bad for your entire team because you have to go back and, and these are really 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 long spawns so keep that in mind you know you can trade like I mean obviously it's gonna be a good trade if you kill the enemy medic with uber or something but uh, don't trade scout for scout demo for demo soldier for the soldier or something like that don't do that if you are holding the point just uh, spam and get out always use um, the hill basically this capture point to play around the enemy okay now we're gonna talk about um, my favorite defense effort let me bring that up real quick okay here we go um, yeah we're gonna we have to use this picture it's not that good and uh, not that great actually but uh, I think you get the point so um, yeah you don't hold it aggressively you give the enemy basically this entire area they have to clear first and how do you uh, position yourself then you have your medic on the cliff so um, I'm gonna show you after this how you can get on the cliff but it's uh, really simple and you have your pocket on the stone on the highest possible point on the map and he can just spam the green you know this is like the green area uh, you have your cliff side you can even spam that um, yeah it's just a pretty 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 good spot for soldiers um, you have your pocket scout on the point um, he's just gonna be a nuisance to the enemy he can run up close get a shot in just go back to your medic you know just uh, I like to play him on the stone because it gives him a little bit hate advantage and um, yeah but he doesn't have to sit there all the time you know he can just run around just guard the point basically then you have your flank um, as always be really careful on the flank because you don't have fields and your medic is across the map so always uh, have a way to get out yeah, that's a um, medium health pack here so as a roaming soldier you, you should always use that don't be um, too needy you know don't come just use the math packs on this map uh, it's a really good way of playing um, if you just jump around the map get the health packs go close corner um, don't sit around your medic too often because uh, you always want to heal scouts and demo men on this map because they're so effective soldiers it's sometimes it's really hard for soldiers on this map uh, I think um, at least I had really big troubles on this map as a soldier um, and yeah just don't be too needy uh, play your own game basically then you have your scout helping him He's just there if you know someone rushes the Roma. Uh, he can do a little bit of damage here, but yeah, it's all about spotting people, getting information. Because if you know uh, where, they, where the enemy comes from, you can tell your demo man, and the demo man can focus that area. So always tell your demo man. Just be a little bit annoying. Tell your demo man and uh, use your spam as much as you can. And you always want to have a sticky trap somewhere. Probably you can put it up here. You can put it up here. You know, even on the point on your cliff side, on the enemy cliff side, there's so many spots here, so yeah, always be aware of sea traps. Okay, and yeah, basically the point of this hold is just, you, gi at, you give the enemy this area, but it's really hard for the enemy to go onto the point, because first of all they have lower ground, and um, at some point they have to go on the point, or they have to force your uber, so they have to do something, and you can play around that fact. You can just position yourself around that, um, maybe you can even move away, sometimes you can just move in as a like, as your entire team, you just go a little bit closer, sometimes you go a little bit further with your entire team, just, yeah, play it defensively, use your high ground, don't go, like, never, if you don't, sometimes the enemy has to suicide in, so they always want to, um, force your uber and then they push with like five classes or four classes onto your medic then you know your medic has to try to dodge people you can just go back you can just hide in china this is called china this area um you can go around this cliff side you know you don't want to use your uber if they're suiciding on you with like so many classes but sometimes the enemy has uber you have uber and they're just p pushing onto the point then don't go too far back then stay close and use your um higher ground to spam them uh, away from the point because they have to cap it so yeah always uh, keep in mind what the enemy is up to are they just suiciding uh, do you have uber advantage do they have advantage it's really important for the medic because yeah it can be quite hard to dodge um, stuff on this map it's 
everything is close corner, you don't have wide open fields, your side is not that good, you know, you always have someone in your face, so position yourself, um, uh, just try to position yourself uh, better, always be ahead of the situation. Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna tell you another hold, let me bring that up. This is the second defensive hold. Um, yeah, this is really good if you know that the enemy has like 100% disadvantage. So they're probably going to suicide on your medic. At least they try once. Yeah, they're going to build Uber in their spawn with like two classes, the medic um, and the scout probably. And the rest of the classes is, uh, are going to suicide on your medic just to force the uber and then this position is much better than the cliff position because uh, you're gonna sit in the china and you can just run around it you can go into this house you can just drop from uh, this uh, balcony it's to like really good versatility in your medic movement and uh, yeah as a medic myself I find this position uh, really great against um, you know just a suicide wave if the enemy just pushes in to cap the point, you know, you don't have uber and the enemy don't uh, doesn't have uber, then you might want to go a little bit closer uh, closer on the cliff side, because like this you give the enemy um, control of the point, you know, you don't, you ca can't heal your pocket up here, you basically can just heal your scout and your demo man, and uh, sometimes the enemy just uses that and kills all the classes, and then you're left with your uh, scout and your medic, but you have no chance against six people, so yeah. Either just move back if they suicide, and if they uh, just push normally, you know, über exchange, all that stuff, you go closer. Okay. Um, yeah, that's basically all you need to know about the holes. Uh, the map is really small, so you can't really do much, you can't really uh, do much, you can't really do anything else. What is wrong with me today? Uh, yeah, just um, use these three holes. Obviously, you can change things up on the flank. You might want to switch classes on the positions, but uh, if you hold it, like I told you, you always have uh, all the areas covered. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you some movement tricks and all the positions I told you before on the in the game. Okay, here we go. As I told you, um, you cap the point and then you're gonna uh, wanna hold defensively. As a medic, you don't have to run like this, you know, you don't have to use that slope to get on the cliff. You can just jump on the stone here and get up on the cliff, it's just faster. Um, yeah, most of the players uh, know this, but for all you uh, new guys, just use that to get up on the cliff. Uh, the second thing I told you about medic, the for the second defensive hold, is where you just sit here. And first of all, your vision, your sightline is great from up here. You can see soldiers bombing in. You can see people running over the point, so uh, you have that going for you. Uh, you can even just sit behind here, you know, just jump spot. And uh, yeah, if they come in, you just go around this, get in the house. You can just, uh, if you see the soldier coming in, uh, you just drop under this, get into the house. You have your med pack uh, close by, which helps in uh, suicide situations. And uh, yeah, I think that's actually the best spot on the map for the medic to um, dodge around. Okay, yeah. Um, another thing uh, I haven't told you yet is this position. You can sit up on this roof, so if your your combo is up here on the cliff. You can use this little roof for your uh, roaming soldier and make it impossible for the enemy to come through this entrance. At least uh, they have to take damage if they do so. So you can force the enemy to run like like this and not like this. And yeah, as always, you can just wall jump out from here, you know, just wall jump back, get the health pack and play around that area. Um, Sniper is a really good class on this map, so always be aware of that, that, that there could be a sniper in the enemy team. Because, yeah, you can just uh, go up the hill and uh, basically just see all the heads here, if they are uh, fighting around the middle, and just headshot them, and you can take higher ground, you know, go onto Cliff or go onto China and just uh, go for headshots from here. 
um, your team has to play around uh, around the sniper uh, if you have one so don't push too aggressively but don't be too far back because if you go too far back they the enemy just takes really good position and um, they take high ground and they just push you in awkward spots but if you go too aggressively um, you don't have one damage cloth with you because your sniper is just sitting back and he's just uh, trying to headshot people and sometimes it gets really awkward because you don't hit anything and then you just uh, your team uh, falls apart so yeah just position yourself around the sniper, give him some heals and uh, move in and out as a team. Don't go to YOLO. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you something about playstyle on this, on this map. So, um, I played a lot of medic on this map. And um, the big problem with this map as a medic is that you're always most of the time, at least when you're fighting, you know, when you fight around the mid, um, you have low ground. You don't have great vision, you're just sitting here, you're just sitting here and people could be like flying over you, they could, could be behind in this house and it's really hard as a medic. So always um, use high ground if you can, so use this if you hold defensively, use this area if you hold aggressively because you just have better vision like this you just you know you just spot people everywhere like this and um, yeah as a medic myself I find this much easier uh, instead of playing like close to the rock or you know like back here if you're holding defensively always use uh, the high ground as a medic on this map yeah, the scouts. The scouts are really, really important on this map. It's probably like the most significant change to like 5CP maps because um, your medic really wants to heal scouts because soldiers are really limited on this map. Um, yeah, you jump once, but uh, you notice there is, isn't really much you can jump on, you know, if you want to cap the points. So you can use the stone and this cliff. That's your spam, that's, these are your spamming high ground positions, but there isn't much else to it. So sometimes what you want to do as a soldier, if you see a gap in the, en in the uh, enemy's defense, you just want to jump there and get behind the enemy. Because let's say um, no, uh, no team uh, kept the point yet and uh, you know you and the enemy lost like two people and then you see a big gap as a Roma you have your heals and uh, you just jump through and then you end up on the China for example you know you have people down here you have people down here and suddenly the enemy can't really focus the point anymore because they have to deal with you on uh, on the, uh, being on the high ground and they also have to deal with the point so yeah it's always great if you can spread the spam damage from the enemy and you can do this uh, uh, very easily by jumping behind the enemy. You can do that. Uh, you can do this as a scout uh, as well. If you just jump, uh, run around the enemy. You know, you can use this house. Uh, you can use this wide area to um, chase people. But it's much more effective if you use a soldier because you can just jump uh, on the high ground, and then the enemy soldiers are forced to uh, deal with him. Because scouts sometimes can't really deal with you if you're sitting up here because it takes so long to just run up here. So the soldiers have to counter jump you and you can distract the enemy uh, very, well, uh, very well. So always, if you see a gap, just use the gap. Don't sit behind and spam. Like, just be active as a roaming soldier, even as a pocket soldier if you have heals and you see the gap, just use it. And as a scout, your pocket scout, it's really important uh, for the pocket scout that he's always with a medic. The entire time, because like a 185 HP scout is so strong on this map. You can just kill people around the point, so just doesn't have high ground. Um, you can just run into the demo man's face because uh, if you get close, he, you know, he's on lower ground, he can't really do anything anymore. He can spam the point really well, but uh, as soon as you get over the point, like into the demo man's face, he's like, uh, you punish him for uh, him uh, spamming the point. So sometimes it's really, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing move if you just jump into the demo man. Okay, yeah. And uh, your demo man, 
you always want to use these spam angles as a demo man so you can just sit up here and you can spam pipes down there and uh, the enemy can't really spot those pipes you know sometimes you're a medic and you're just sitting here and there's pipes coming through and you take a pipe and you just uh, lose the mid because the enemy enemy is hitting two random pipes and uh, yeah always use these spam angles so that's why I position the demo man always on these slopes because I think that these are really great to uh, do a lot of damage but uh, if you um, prefer to play from high ground you can do that um, it's a little bit more defensive but uh, yeah it's preference I suppose okay so yeah that's basically how you play uh, the map as all the different classes. Now let's talk about some pushes. So you might wonder how do you uh, push this map? You know, how do you even get onto the point? The middle fight uh, starts and uh, what is happening? There's like different approaches on this. You can sit far back. You know, you can just sit behind the point. You don't commit onto the point. Um, you just wait for someone to uh, get a kill or do a lot of damage and then you push after this. Or you just wait for the enemy to um, commit too hard into you and you just pick off enemy classes. That's like one big approach, just to play it defensively. No one basically crosses this, like the middle line, like the line of scrimmage. No one uh, crosses that. So uh, that's like one approach, but you can't do that all the time because the enemy won't, will notice and they just slowly push up onto this hill and then suddenly you have lower ground and um, you're out of the game. You can't really... Uh, come back onto the middle so um, you can't do this defensive push all the time you always want to uh, mix things up on this map um, yeah the, and one aggressive way to play it is if you have like one soldier bombing in so you can uh, jump from up here wall jump from up there and then just get onto the enemy cliff or onto the enemy medic and then you push with your entire team over the point and follow up because the soldier is doing such a great distraction. It's a little bit like snake water where you just, uh, as soon as you get on the point, you have to commit to it. You know, you have to push over the point. You can't just sit up there. You have to, like, push the enemy back. So uh, if you have one soldier bombing in or a scout, like, somehow getting behind the enemy, which shouldn't happen, but sometimes uh, it does, then you just follow up on them. But it takes great communication for uh, doing so. So if you go in, always tell your team if you're, uh, if you're getting denied really hard or if you have a great bomb or something like that, you always want to tell your uh, team what you're up to as a Roma. And yeah, that's like basically a second approach to playing this map um, as the defensive side. If you see the Romas uh, bombing in, you don't, you can't focus them with like six classes. You know, you have some classes have to focus him just try to deny him or at least push him back and the rest of the team has to watch the point because like i told you before the enemy team is probably pushing behind your roma uh, bombing in and you want to deny that so uh, the demo man shouldn't really pay attention to the uh, soldier jumping in he should always pay attention to the point so the enemy uh, can't run up here and get the higher ground and get uh, cap time so as a demo man, if you can, sometimes the soldier is in your face, obviously, and you have to react. But um, if uh, the soldier is maybe just jumping behind you or focusing uh, another class, just watch the point. Okay. Yeah. And um, as I said, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really an expert on this map myself. I played this like overall 40 times, I guess, or uh, something around that number. And um, these are just these are just my experiences. I'm uh, experiences I made on this map, and um, I think you can learn from this. But don't take things for granted. Um, yeah, talk to your team because this is a really strategically strategically met map. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what's going on today. Um, yeah, use uh, talk about this map a lot. Use tactics. Um, it's not that intuitive, uh, like CP Bear Dance, for example. You just play and you understand how things work. Um, this is really about team positioning and moving back and moving forth um, together as a team. So uh, take your time. 
just uh, talk about the map. And uh, one thing I haven't covered yet, I noticed, is um, the different Uber situations, uh, Uber situations on this map. So let's say the blue teams wins the middle, you know, the first fight. Your medic dies here and um, the enemy has 100% advantage. What do you do? The first thing you do is you start building your Uber. So you have your scout in spawn and you just start building Uber using the Boston Basher. The rest of the team obviously can try to kill the medic meanwhile. So you have like 40 seconds, it takes 40 seconds to build an Uber. Um, so you have at least 40 seconds to uh, try to kill the medic for free. And if you doesn't, uh, if you don't accomplish that, uh, it doesn't really matter because, yeah, you're bu building your Uber yourself. Meanwhile, so um, yeah, you just you, um, the demo man is really important on this because you you know you get your buff and then you do a double sticky jump or something. You just jump really high and your soldiers follow up. You sometimes have a spy and all you do is basically. Uh, to try to kill the enemy medic or force the uber and then you have like an uber advantage yourself and you can just uh, push towards the point so if you have big disadvantage use one suicide wave to try to kill the medic okay and um, yeah if you uh, if the uh, ubers are equal for example uh, both teams have uber you can either decide if you want to try to make the enemy uber and then you push with your uh, uber advantage or you can just push with your uber you know you exchange the ubers you try to kill people because um, if you're not holding the point you're gonna uh, spawn much faster so you try to um, trade kills as much as you can and then you uh, push with your uh, better spawns so uh, you always have to make that decision if you wanna make the enemy team uber sometimes you you're gonna fail so um, you're gonna lose like uh, 10 to 30 seconds and sometimes you're uh, sex uh, you have success and you make the enemy team uber and then you have 100% advantage yourself and it's gonna be uh, much easier to cap the middle point so on this map it's really important that you always are aware of the uber situations your medic and probably like all the other classes have to count the uber all the time because it's it's not just uh, important for the for the clash, for the fights, it's also important for the overall positioning. Because on maps like CB Badlands, uh, if you notice you have a disadvantage, uh, disadvantage, sometimes you just get out. But on this map, it's like really hard. You know, you're just holding here on the cliff, and the enemy jumps in with like three classes. It's really tough to get out. Because you always uh, are on lower ground if you want to get out. So yeah, um, playing, uh, using tactics, playing around your medic really wins and loses games on this map and it's also really deathmatch uh, intensive map but uh, yeah that's another story okay I really tried my best to explain everything I know about this map um, I think I did a really poor job doing so but yeah next time we're gonna talk about CP snake water it's gonna be a 5 CP map so I can tell you much more things about it and um, yeah if you have questions or anything to tell me just post it in the comments and uh, as always you can follow me on twitch and you can follow me on twitter and um, yeah i'm gonna call it a night here so uh, have a good one guys and uh, i see you in the next one see ya